want to get around. Whack. Get around. Up, boop, bang. Up, up, do, pa. Boop. Now, snap, bang. Boop, here, do, bang. Balance, boom, boom. Spa, try. Good. How'd that feel? That was nice. That was good. Total balance. My name is Michael Bauer. I am a physical education teacher here at Newton North High School. I've been here for since 2000. Uh, I graduated from North in 1990. Um, I coach uh, football as well. I'm assistant uh, uh, football coach, defensive coordinator. Uh, outdoor, I also do uh, discus as well as the shot put. Why the shot put? Yeah. Well, why not the shot put? Right? No. Uh, well, uh, when I was a, a junior in high school, I decided to end playing basketball because I wasn't growing any taller. And I was a power forward, and 5'10", you're not going to cut it, being 5'10", power forward. So I said, well, I might as well use my strength and my lifting to my advantage, so I started throwing shot put my junior year. Uh, then I continued it senior year. Uh, just indoor, and then I did it one year at uh, Andover. I prepped one year at Andover. It's got to be a teaching thing. The attitude that I take going into it is trying to make that student, whoever he or she is, the best possible thrower they can be. And to have them become a student of the sport. Because if you can understand it, what you're doing, it makes it a lot easier. It's all about those shoulders. Violent, aggressive shoulders. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Ready? And go. Boom. Good. Ooh, very nice. A little bit quicker with those hips. That's all. Get that elbow down. Drive the hand through the hip. Ready? And go. Through. Good. Not bad. Just a little off over here. Always watch that left foot. One more. For shot put, to understand that this is a very new thing for a lot of kids and it can get frustrating. And I think it kind of goes back to what I said before, is to be a teacher. Putting the need of the kid first, understand where they're coming from. And especially shot put, there's a lot of unique movements to the shot. And however the student connects with it in their own special way, form your teaching and coaching around that. My biggest challenge is when a student is having difficulty, they get in a rut. Basically, we're home run hitters, and that's what it is. The, sh the shot put, the discus, outdoors, you got to be a home run hitter. And if a few things go wrong within the technique, a lot of times the students will be focused more on the outcome instead of the process. And you always try to get the students, the student athlete, back into the process of what they're doing instead of what the outcome is. I know it, it's very hard. One of the challenges is to get the brain focused back on the basics, the mechanics. And it's not so much the body, because we can always correct that. It's, it's the mind and how you approach it. Um, with any sport that I coach, whether it be football or track, um, to get that right frame of mind, to focus on the process, not the outcome. Let the body and the mind work together as one. Uh, that's the hardest thing right there. Hey, remember, this is like a trigger, right? You see, if they, they blow up houses with that electronic little thing, it goes zit, right, and bam, it goes there. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for you to land it, bang, bang, gone. Boop, good. A little bit more, try not to be restrictive. Ooh, reach. You're looking for that $1,000 bill, you're reaching for it. Now, and there you go. That's the timing, though. That's the timing, that was it. You know, you have to have a certain mindset to succeed. And a lot, what comes with that is going in the weight room and working out and being strong in that way, I guess. But you also have to have a strong mentality. You know, when it comes down to your last throw in the Class A tournament and you're in second place, what's your mentality going to be like to achieve the number one spot? We saw that out of Carl Whittem this year. So if you have the mentality of wanting to be the best and do the best that you possibly can, well, you're going to be waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning wanting to go to the weight room and then doing another session at night. You're going to be wanting to go on YouTube and watching some videos. You're going to want to do that 
that camp during the summertime. You're going to want to be in competitions and uh, be in a situation where you're going to succeed. Well, Coach, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Right here, doing another one of these things probably. <laughs> right? With, with another group of students doing something for their class. Because I'm not, you know, hey, uh, I've dedicated myself to Newton North High School. You know, I, I teach here, I coach here, I've been here since, uh, like I said, 96 coaching football and track, 2000 as a teacher. Ten years I'll be right here, hopefully with a few more great throwers like you that have come in and out. I'm mic'd up, so watch out what you say. I mean, if I say <laughs> or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> We use that <laughs> board over there. <laughs> yes, you can use that board over there. It was the heat of the moment. Melt it out, coach. Oh, come on, this is a classic.